Mr. Marmolejo, as Higher Education Coordinator of the World Bank, could you give us an overview of the main policies currently promoted by the World Bank in the field of education? The main strategy of the bank is aimed at the initial level in providing for the best conditions for those students to have uh, a, a, the opportunity for education, health and in general social protection and then for the further levels to make sure that education is relevant. First of all, that is accessible to the majority of the population, but secondly, that is relevant, and that means that the graduates of the different educational programs will have a job, will have the opportunity to uh, contribute to the society. Uh, what are the possible scenarios for the future of higher education in the Mediterranean and neighboring countries in regard to the young students? Well, you know, the current, uh, uh, regarding the uh, the case of the Mediterranean countries uh, and the neighboring countries, when we see the numbers, it is uh, concerning the fact that a good number of graduates of higher education don't have a job. And if we consider the demographic bonus of the region, the fact that a, in comparison to the rest of Europe, there is a segment of the population which is younger, and the fact that there have been efforts in the governments to provide with some education, you know, in those cases higher education, but the reality that they don't have a job, that creates a very difficult conditions. So we believe that uh, more work should be done uh, at the government level, of course also at the societal level, in order to better align the higher education offerings with the real current and anticipated needs of the market. Uh, if we are able to better adjust the higher education systems, we will be able to make sure that the youth of this and the future generation not only will have access to education, but more important, that they will have degrees that are going to be relevant and that are going to be employable. Otherwise, it is understandable why major frustration may exist. The World Bank is being uh, strongly support the uh, Alma Laurea model and uh, the potential extension to third countries. How do you rate uh, Alma Laurea and how do you envisage the extension uh, beyond the countries of current uh, uh, inter uh, cooperation like uh, Morocco, Tunisia, neighboring country as Armenia, where Alma Laurea uh, is uh, already cooperating, but also to other developing countries? Uh, regarding Alma Laurea, I had been uh, fortunate during these days uh, to have a better understanding of what it does, what, are the, what is the scope, and what are uh, so the possibilities of uh, such a methodology. And I should confess that I'm positively impressed. I have, been, uh, I have had the opportunity to, to, to see many models, many methodologies in different parts of the world. And I don't think that there is anyone that has the type of approach that Alma Laurea has. Uh, the fact that uh, it uh, has a higher participation of uh, graduates of higher education institutions providing their information. The fact that there is commitment from the higher education institutions and the fact that there is an interest from the business sector the fact that there is an interest of the research community, as I already witnessed it, in terms of doing research on that information, are all of those uh, very positive ingredients for what we believe is kind of an ideal uh, mechanism to better adjust the needs of the market with what higher education institutions are doing and what graduates are doing. So it looks like a kind of a dream model that definitely should be fully uh, disseminated in other contexts, hoping that other countries might be interested in adapting uh, the approach and eventually establishing something similar. So we from the World Bank uh, strongly encourage that. So that's part of the, these conversations that we have had. And uh, we believe that it would be very important for other parts of the world to become aware of Alba Laurier and also to explore ways in which it can be implemented on the respective places.